visualize anything you want and have it manifest. Did you know there's some people that visualize in their mind everything they want and it manifests detail for detail? Are you trying to visualize what you want and trying to manifest what you want by thinking about it, by making vision boards, but nothing's coming to fruition? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you tips on how the expert Dr. Joe Dispenza has proven visualization techniques to get your visualization into your reality. I'm Jeanette Sizikowski, your go-to feng shui consultant. Let's get into it. This concept of visualizing what you want and having it manifest into your reality became so popular with the movie The Secret. People have been using this visualization technique for centuries. Wallace D. Waddle, Napoleon Hill, to name a few. Before you take action on getting something that you want, you have to know what you want. And knowing, the language of your mind is thinking, it's thoughts. And knowing is having this picture, this image in your head. And for some who haven't taken the time to hone in on it, it's just this thought, it's a rough image. But spending some time curating what you really want, the details of what you want, really visualizing, knowing what you want is important. For many people, the more specific the image, the better, but according to human design, not everybody is a specific manifester. Some people are non-specific manifestors, which is explains why sometimes you see people manifest everything they put on their vision board and some people don't. Some people manifest everything to a T and some people get a general idea. But that human design video is an explanation for another day. Subscribe now so that you are here and on top of it when that video comes out. So back to visualizing. You know what you want. I know what I want. I know I want that beach house. I know I want that beach house to be white with a black garage door, a balcony porch that expands in the back with a boardwalk that takes me through some shrubs and down to the beach. You likely have a similar visualization, a similar story, but maybe it's for a car, for a purse, for a human. Yes, there are people that visualize the man or woman they wanna be with, and sometimes it comes to fruition exactly how they dreamed it. So now that you've gotten the specifics and you know exactly what you're visualizing, what you're trying to attract, it's important to know that these are just symbols for a feeling. These are just symbols of what you actually want. That car or that house, that beach house, that person just represents abundance, empowerment, or love. These images and these symbols are helping you get clarity, get clear with your intentions on what it is that you're trying to move towards. Clarity is power. Our brain will do whatever we say, but we have to be clear and very specific on what it is that we want. So if you're watching this video, you likely already have a vision board or you already have these visions in your mind and visions of goals of what you want, but maybe it's still not happening. And so what you really need to hone in on is the feeling of what this symbol represents. By getting this symbol, by getting this car, by getting this purse, by getting this person, what is it that I will feel when I have that? So if you haven't thought about the feelings yet, and really for each thing, look at your vision board, think back to these visuals that you have in your head and go through each item. Why do you want six figures why do you want that specific car what is it about that car that's better than another car what how will you feel different how will these symbols help you feel and notice i said help you feel when you have them does the feeling of that porsche the soft leather the black trim the panoramic sunroof does that help you feel powerful empowered important like you've made it, like you're special, like you're enough to deserve all of the other things that you want. What does that symbol of a car, of a fancy car or purse or person help you feel? The feeling is what raises your frequency. Everything is energy, so like energy attracts like energy. This feeling of this picture, so don't just think, I want a car, I want a car, I want a car. Why do you want the car? How's that car gonna make you feel? That feeling is going to raise your frequency to attract in more of that feeling. Comment below to really wire it in. I see it. 
Now here's where it all goes wrong. You're with me now, you're seeing it, you're visualizing it. That car feels so good, that beach house feels so good, that person feels so good. I've got it, it's mine, you know it, you can feel it, you're ready to go. But once this video ends and you turn off your phone or you turn off your laptop, what happens? You start your day, you go off to your desk and you start realizing you don't actually have that car. You go off with your friends to the brunch table to start gossiping about how everybody else seems to have a nice car or a nice purse or a lot of money or new jewelry and you don't. And then that feeling that you just created, that you just cultivated here, getting so excited about how great you're gonna feel and you have this thing, it's inevitable, it's on its way, but then you go back to reality and your vibration lowers. Your frequency lowers. Your attitude lowers. Your feelings deplete. And this, my friends, is where Dr. Joe Dispenza says you are waiting on your outer reality to determine your inner feeling. You're believing that your outer world has to change before your feelings and your inner world can change. If you want your visualizations to manifest and come to life, then when videos like this end, when after you make your vision board or after you do your visualization meditation in the morning, that feeling of love, of feeling empowered, of feeling wanted, of feeling rich, of feeling abundant has to stick with you. You have to stay in that feeling to continue to attract your ideal reality. Because thinking about your current reality and how you feel in this current reality and what's going on around you currently is just going to perpetuate more of what you already have, what you already feel, what's already around you. So visualization, vision boards, feng shui, guided visualization meditations, these are all tools to bridge you to what you actually want to create and bring into your reality. They're just tools to make that reality come to you faster. So just having the meditation and visualizing it doesn't mean that's where things end. Just slapping on a red car or the purse or a beautiful picture of love onto your vision board, that's not where it ends. Creating those, it gives you something to go back to. It gives your brain something to refer to, but it all is to spark that inner feeling. So what do you need to do to get your visualizations to become realities? You need to stay consistent with that feeling that that success, that abundance, that person, that love, that car, it's inevitable, it's coming to you because you deserve it, because you're already abundant. And when you get those symbols, remember earlier I said it helps you feel that way. You already feel that way, but by getting these symbols and having them come into your reality, you feel more of that thing. You feel more of that feeling. You guys already know this, nobody's perfect. Life can be difficult. We're not always going to be able to stay at 100% that frequency all the time. We've got kids running around, we've got spouses that have bad days that bring us down, we've got coworkers that complain and moan that bring us down, but it's important for you to start noticing that because if you actually want what you're visualizing, if you really want it badly, if you really want that car, if you really want those six figures, then you have to be in charge of yourself, in charge of your thoughts, and do your best to keep that frequency up. So what are some other things you can do? You already have the vision board. If you don't, now you know. When you create a vision board, really know the feeling or even write down the feeling with that symbol so that you can keep remembering the feeling and not just the I want. Maybe you already meditate quite a bit. Add in a guided meditation or a visualization meditation so that you can constantly remind your brain, this is inevitable, we're going to get this car, we're going to get this six figures, it's coming, it's already here, I already feel this way, but we're gonna feel this way more when this thing arrives. For me, I have my vision board on the back of my laptop and on the back of my phone, so every day, and I have a few pictures hung around my apartment too of me with the thing that I want. So it is a constant reminder. It's almost like looking at a picture and thinking like, oh yeah, remember when I got that? I already have that. Whatever you can do to put images around to trigger, yes, the visuals, but to trigger the feeling of having that visual. So to recap, to visualize anything you want and have it become a reality, first, know what you want or how you want to feel. If you know what symbol you want, what object you wanna have, what feeling does that having it create. If you know how you wanna feel, what can symbolize that feeling? 
second. Feel that feeling regularly, daily, as frequently as possible. Keep feeling that feeling until you finally just become that feeling. You are already loved, you are already empowered, you are already rich, you are already abundant, and when you get this object, it's inevitable that you meet that person, it's inevitable that you get that car. You're just gonna feel more of this abundance and this love. Do you feel it? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel that love? Do you feel great? Then comment yes below in the chat box. Like this video if you feel great or even just a little bit better. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when more feng shui and mindset tip videos come out. Why is it important to watch these videos? Because it, they will help you transform a life that you tolerate into one you treasure.